Mary mats from Twisted Yarns. In part two, we will take our easy line slippers and turn them into little bunnies. The link for the companion pattern for the bunny ears and tail is included in the description of below, along with the links for the easy line slippers pattern and video. But today, it's all about my little bunnies. We will knit the embellishments and put them all together. Let's start. To make our little bunny ear, we're going to pull out our four center needles. And we don't need to leave a long yarn tail, but we're just going to e-wrap the four needles. Thread our carriage. Our carriage is set to knit, and it is set to 4.1 put my trusty little clip on there and a little weight just to hold it and act like a cast on comb. Okay, and we're going to knit one row. After the first row, we're going to take our yarn tail and do one more e-wrap on either, either of the center two needles. We're just bringing the strand to the center on this row. Okay? And so we're going to help it along and knit a second row. And then we're going to just knit two more rows. Then we're going to pull out the two outside needles and knit four more rows. Two more needles, four more rows. Two more needles so that we have a total of ten needles out in work position. And we're going to knit eight more rows. Okay, at this point, we can cut our yarn. We're going to bring these needles out to hold, and we're going to weave this end in. Just by doing our regular over and under weave. Put a little clip on it. And we're going to knit one row. Then we're going to pull the needles out again and weave this end in over and under, lacing it over and under the needles. I'm going to pull another one out. There we go. Push that back and knit a second row. Now we're going to start decreasing because we're making the lining of this ear. The tension is still remaining at 4.1. I've tried it, bringing it down a little bit, thinking I'd make it a little bit tighter. It didn't work. It did not work out properly. And so now we're going to knit four rows. Transfer two more in. Make sure the needles are out of work. Okay. One, two, three, four. Once again, transfer the edge needles in to decrease one on each side. And then finally, we're going to transfer the last ones in. So we have just two stitches remaining. And knit four. At this point, we're going to cut our other end. Of our yarn. Thread up our darning needle or our double eyed needle, bring these out to hold just so that the stitches are behind the latches and we're going to take them off on our yarn tail. And we're going to just stitch once more through there. So we've taken it off the machine and we've removed all of our clothes pins and things. These two center yarn tails are just becoming stuffing. We're going to fold the center over and we're going to take this end 
and that end at the beginning. Hence the reason why we moved it over, uh, move that with that extra e-wrap, just so it's coming out of the center. And what we're going to do is we're just simply going to tie a knot to join them at the tips. Is that easy finishing? This will eventually just be stuffed into the middle as more stuffing. I'm going to start on the 13th needle. There's a reason for my logic, okay? And I am going to point it. Now, I have the outs my ear is placed so that the knit sides are both outside, okay? And I'm facing the lining toward the needle bed. And I'm only picking up. Can you see this? I'm only picking up the outer loop of the of the edge stitch so that so I'm taking the edge stitch and just picking up one loop and hanging it and you're going to hang every other row so that's my first one that's a knot here's a here's a loop the knot is tight it's hard to get into the loop is loose easy to get into I'm just picking up the stitches along here. And then I'm going to go to the tip of the ear and pick up the last two loops at the tip of the ear and hang it on needle number one. I've hung that, that edge. I'm increasing my tension two full sizes to 6-1. Okay? My carriage is on the right. I'm changing to my main color. And I'm going to knit one row. So now my carriage is on the left. Now push all your yarn tails, except this one. which is the one that we're going to weave in. To the inside, just in case they're on the wrong side or on the outside, you want to have that taken care of. Okay, bring these to upper work. And now we're going to hang the outside of the ear. Knit two rows. With our latch tool, we're going to simply Pop the first one on to the latch tool behind the latch, and then take the second one and pull it through. The third one through the second one, all the way across. Now I'm down to the last, the last um, loop. Now if you look at this, you'll see those stockinette rows that I put in allow the, the outer part of the ear to curl toward the lining like a curve on a little rabbit. But we're not quite done. So now we're going to return to our 13th needle so that this edge, the point of the ear, the tip of the ear points to the right. Now, I'm going to continue and rehang this lining, the other side of the ear, onto these same stitches. On the same needles, I should say. Okay. Now, 
all the tails that are on this thing get stuffed into the ear. The little pocket. Now, this is where the second ear gets joined. And so, we want the bases of the two ears to be next to each other. Now I'm going to skip one needle in the middle and leave it empty. And pick up This one is finished on the outside. Now we're going to go finish this side and this side and join the two together at the same time. Okay? And I do have one empty stitch. Now, I think I picked up 12 stitches on each ear. It's okay. It doesn't really make too much difference. 11, 12, and then one empty needle in the middle, and that is out of work. Okay? So, I'm just going to continue across this and knit all the way across. I've just joined the ears. And then I'm going to hang the outer ear. Actually, I goofed up. I should have had one stitch on the tip of the ear over here. So I'm just going to cheat, add it, and knit it off manually. Because you always want one stitch of the tip beyond um, the ear. It gives it a nice edge. Now I'm just going back and picking up the edge stitches along the ear after I stuffed all the stuff in the middle. Now this one, it's really important that it's the stuffing be put in there. The ends, those yarn tails, even though they're woven in, they're still yarn tails. It's just added stuffing. But you want to make sure that they're all tucked inside. Otherwise, you have to deal with them again later. And Yes, all of, all of these are done at 6-1 now. Okay, and here we're going to make sure that these ends are tucked to the inside, even though they're going to be hanging out the back for another minute or so. And then hang this edge. It's funny, when I do these little projects like this, it's the devil's always in the details, you know? The details take you more time than the whole slipper, but they make them so cute then, and they make it appealing. That's what I, that's, and I'd rather find, I find this part to be the fun part. So once I'm at that end, I want to pick up another one of those tips and put it through this, onto that last needle. Okay. All right, so now we're going to knit two rows. Okay, and just like we did before, we're going to use our latch tool to latch these off. hanging that needle on number 13. So I'm going to end up right around one or two. In this case, I'm closing this, not yet, but I'm going to rehang the lining. And I'm right at that. And what did I do before that I said I shouldn't do again? And the left! Okay, so here's the solution, guys. Put it in the hole, bring all these out to the hole position, and move it over. Duh. 
Okay, now make sure you put it back in the knit. And I'm ready. And here on this end, I have one stitch there. That is my uh, tip. And I think I'm going to pick up this last little one down here. There we go. Now, knit one row. We're going to be done in just a few hung stitches. But this is where you push all those ends of the middle. They're already woven in. Now, if you forgot to weave in the ends, you have to weave them in before you start doing this part of the process. Okay. Two more rows. And then latch tool them off. We're going to quickly make a bunny tail. We're going to pull out the four needles in the center. We're going to leave about an 18 inch yarn tail and e-wrap and thread up our machine. Now we're still at tension 4.1 for this particular tail and we're going to put our little weight on there and a little weight just to start. X as a cast on comb to begin with. Now we're just going to knit 10 rows. One, now we're going to take our weight off because we won't need that anymore and our clothes pin. We're going to thread our darning needle with the yarn tail and we are going to stitch over and bring it up through the center along the edge just to start. Then we're going to jump up here to the last two rows worked and thread it under the two bars between the center two stitches. That makes one loop. Now we're going to proceed, and you can you just easily pinch your little darning needle because we'll need it again. And we're going to knit 10 more rows. Return to the last two rows worked, and stitch under those. Go back and knit 10 more rows. And we're going to do this a total of, this is the first loop here, second, third, and we're going to do it so that we have seven or eight of these. Let's just check how many we did. So if you pull your yarn tail, you'll find it'll form little bumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, we're there. So now, we're going to let, let this sit, pull off our carriage off to the side, and cut another lengthy yarn tail. Now we're going to unthread the first strand, thread our second one, and we're going to pull these out to hold, push the stitches behind the latches, and then we're going to just pop off these ends onto the ending yarn tail. Okay. And just stitch under those edges so that it just secures a little bit. But we're not done yet. Now, we're going to pull on our little end to expose the stitches that were under here that this first strand went under and we're going to go under in the opposite direction of course the same two bars every ten rows and just follow it down and then go into the last okay now we're going to pull our yarn end through here now this is the fun part if you just put a little tension on it, you can push all 
the loops that are hanging off of this string or off the yarn tails to the bottom. It's important to do that because it helps arrange them real quick. That's good enough. And now we're just going to pull each of those two ends carefully. And guess what? We just formed our little pom-pom. That was the easiest pom-pom to make. Well, and in this case, we've made a bunny tail. Look at that. There's our bunny tail already made. All you have to do to finish this is tie the ends together with a knot. Okay, we are ready to assemble. The fastest way to do the ears is to fold them in along the base and then stitch through the front edges and that brings them together. Then come back to the center and we're going to stitch this edge together. And you can do this very simply just by whip stitching it for us. Now we take our slipper and remember I have two ends and I'll use both these ends to to uh, secure the ears into place. And at the back, since I'm at the back, I'm going to stitch through here to begin getting my ears in place. And the first go around, I'm going to take big and broader stitches, like basting it, basting the ears into place. Because once I have those in place, then I can use the other end to put more uh, tight stitches in. More uh, stitches closer together. Now that I've made the basting round, let's arrange our little head. Let's see how that looks. How does that look? Do you like that? I like it. Okay, so now we're going to continue around, but this time taking closer stitches. Giving yourself about two feet, 24 inches. What we want to do is, since I already have one bunny finished, I want to make sure that I place the eyes approximately at the same place. So, I'm going to insert my needle through Can be down a little bit further, maybe like here. And this is the point of one eye, and this is the point of the other eye. I'm going to only draw the yarn about halfway through. And then, once I've made that determination, can you see that? Then I'm going to make the eye, embroider the eye. Now, this time, I only, when I went and drew my yarn through, it's between the outer layer and the lining, so there's nothing to snag on the little toes when people put their foot in it, when a child puts their foot in it. And now we're going to just embroider the little eyes. And I want bulgy eyes so it matches the other, the other um, slipper. I always leave the first end dangling. And the reason is, if I make and goof up, I may have to take them out. So I don't cut any ends until I have both eyes embroidered. Okay, so this one, I'm going to continue and embroider this one pretty good. Now, what I do is I'll take and I will stitch back and forth underneath. And that really secures my end. And I'll come out and that. Oh, I think my two little guys look pretty good. They match. 
So this one, I'll just trim the eye close, take my darning needle, re-thread it, and I'll make another couple stitches on this side, and then do my back and forth. Once I find the right spot, I can just tie this one on, make a little knot, tie it in place, trim the short end, not the long end, and then I'm going to um, embroider a knobby knob nose, a knobby knob nose, right over it. And I want to check just to make sure that nose is about the same size. Yep. So now I'm going to take a couple of side stitches. I think what I'll do is I'll go from the top to the bottom and do a couple of side stitches. And then over here, just to make it a little more pronounced. And that is pretty well secured. And I can trim it. And the last thing you do is you can take and thread up both strands and find the place right at the top of the back of the slipper. You don't want to put the slipper, the tail, at the bottom because that'll be a tripping hazard. So what you want to do is just use both ends and I like to, if you can see this, I like to stitch back through the pom-pom with both ends, pull them up, and then stitch back through the slipper. And you want to do this a couple of times where I have a nice secure join. I'm going to unthread one of the strands and then knot it, of course. Stitch this one through the back of the slipper close to the pom-pom, the tail, then turn it over and tie a nice knot from the bottom. And now you can just trim it. And the tail is nice and secure. I hope you enjoyed making our bunny slippers. Oh no, they're multiplying. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos. Happy machine knitting!